Hello everyone. Today, we're tackling a common problem for iPhone users who've transferred photos to their Mac. We'll show you how to open and understand those mysterious AAE files. These files often accompany your photos, and figuring out what they are can be a bit confusing. Let's get started. First, let's define what AAE files are. AAE files are essentially sidecar files. They store the edits you've made to your photos on your iPhone. Think of them as little instruction manuals for your pictures. They tell your iPhone's Photos app how to display the image with your chosen filters, adjustments, and crops. The original photo remains untouched. This non-destructive editing is a great feature. Now, why can't you directly open them on your Mac? AAE files aren't image files themselves. They're just data files containing editing information. Most Mac programs don't recognize them as images. They only work within the Apple ecosystem, primarily on iPhones and iPads. So, how do you see these edits on your Mac? The good news is, you usually don't need to open them. If you're using iCloud Photos, your edits should automatically sync to your Mac's Photos app. The edits will appear as if they were directly applied to the original image. Problem solved. However, what if you're not using iCloud Photos and you've transferred photos manually? In that case, the edits might not automatically appear. Your Max Photos app might show the original, unedited versions. To see the edits, you have two main options. Option 1, import the photos into your Photos app. Apple's Photos app on macOS will recognize the AAE files if they are in the same folder as the corresponding photos. When imported, the edits will be applied. Option 2, if you don't want to use the Photos app, you can delete the AAE files. Doing so will revert your photos to their original, unedited state. The original images remain intact. This might be preferable if you don't like the edits or want to start fresh. Just remember, deleting the AAE file removes the editing instructions permanently. Be sure you have copies of the original photos somewhere safe before deleting the AAE files. Another point to consider, if you're sending photos to someone who doesn't use Apple devices, they won't be able to see the edits contained in AAE files. It's always a good idea to export a fully edited version of the image for cross-platform compatibility. Finally, some third-party photo editors can read AAE files, but this is not the norm. Usually, they are specific to Apple's ecosystem. I hope this explanation helps you understand AAE files and how to manage them on your Mac. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Consider subscribing for more useful tips and tricks. Sharing the video with your friends is a great way to support us. Also, please let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if there are any other topics you'd like us to cover. We appreciate your support.